So this is like gotta be the slowest train you've ever heard of. This is the speed we've been going for hours up this steep hill. There's gotta be some kind of a mountain pass or something ahead. Straight down on the right, straight up on, the, on this side. On the way to Grafton, West Virginia. It's pretty scenic and nice, but it's a major grind and this is a loud train. Yeah, so basically this train goes slow enough up this hill. I mean, you could get off, maybe go camping and get on the next day's train. I wouldn't make that a hard and fast rule. That'd be a nice meadow right now, there to pitch a tent. You got a little creek there. It seems like it might be the top of the pass here. We're starting to speed up and that's downhill. So let's see what happens now. Right at this bridge. Big rain yesterday, got bright blue the sky, super green trees everywhere up here in Appalachian, God's country. This is possibly the steepest mountain pass I've ever gone up or down. All the way up and down this pass, we've got, we got double main line. I think the train is guaranteed to stall if it's coming up here and it has to stop to wait for another train. Look at that train. I mean, this is steep. It's absolute wilderness back here. Absolutely zero civilization except for a couple homes occasionally. Look at that. Virgin Forest. Modern times has eliminated whatever employees used to work in here. What's going on in here? Yeah, look at all that electronics and who knows. Very musty, pleasant wood smell. So this is Grafton, West Virginia. And I'm not totally clear why there's a yard here where they're actually, you know, doing work. I mean, it's extremely hot. And there's a lot of, you can just tell in these forests, it's, you know, infinite amount of biting insects and snakes and stuff. My God, is this another place that doesn't have beer. Nothing to be found anywhere down here as far as beer. This is where you go if you get pulled off. And a grim looking courthouse here. All right, so we just came into Grafton, which has been a great community so far. Everyone's been really friendly to us. And uh, looks like we've got a beautiful river here. I'm not sure the name of it, but we're gonna head right down there with some cold beer, assuming it's not a dry county, which we haven't figured out yet. And we're gonna enjoy ourselves for yeah. a few hours. This is definitely worth getting off the train here. Let's just see what we've got. Look at all this. We got an ear. Oh my God. Just to just get out of the heat. Nice river, beer. 
Stop complicating your life so much. You get a 12 pack, you get a river, and you get a positive view on what's going on. Well, 12 pack number one has been cached by the river. Dude, where is the beer? There it is, there's the last one. Introducing Steel Reserve Hard Pineapple. It's two bucks at that gas station and it's 8%. All right, I mean, you're trashed as shit. Yeah, no, it's that pineapple 211, whatever. You know, I don't know. The mixture of the acidity of the pineapple, um, you know, the 8%, it all mixes together and creates some kind of a toxic mix. I can't handle it. This is hours and hours and hours and hours and hours after we got the pineapple and game over. It's too much. Game and over, That's man. all I can say. Game over. Absolute game over. If I can just say there's a limit. You can't just keep drinking forever. It doesn't just stay fun ad infinitum. And that's what we're experiencing right now. You're in Grafton in the darkest hours of the night. What you're seeing here is the general tendency of all these smaller, kind of rustic, historic towns, which is just to basically just be shuttered with the population definitely moving out of here, or at least not anybody moving here. Interesting old historic architecture like this. But this is done. There's nothing going on here anymore. You know, and while certain guys and politicians may think they're gonna bring this back and bring back the blue collar. I mean, this is done. This town is history. I mean, look at this depot. And look at this building. I mean, what happened at these places? These are hundreds of years old. Particularly intrigued by this huge hotel or residence or whatever it is. You can only conjecture what kind of history has happened in this building throughout the years. Not sure if this is Civil War era, but we're right here near the Mason-Dixon line. Here the train yard is totally quiet at night. It's kind of hard to figure out why they've got a yard here. I don't see any industry. I don't see why what they're doing with the cars that are getting cut off here. I mean, the railroad has got way bigger operation here than I expected. You got an engine shop. You got a fuel station. You got, you know, random locomotives just parked here. All right, what's going on? Day two, Grafton. And uh, after camping here, the problem we're seeing is that the train we came in on, the same train that's gonna leave, it's very short and it's, it's making a lot of stops in different towns. It's unsure if there's even gonna be a ride on the train, so we're kind of thinking about some other options. I mean, John here, he's thinking hitchhiking might be more reasonable solution out of here. As much as I don't like hitchhiking, we've had a little bit of hassles in the town. And it's kind of a small town, so it's hard to stay covert. But if we were to hitchhike, we've got a lot of daylight left. All right, we're giving up. We're gonna go hitchhike. This, this is what happens when you hitchhike. This is where you spend the night, here. Does this look fun to you? Just camping out, there's John right there on this freaking on-ramp. All day, we've been trying to get a ride. We started 30 miles north of here, 30 miles in one day. We're still 60 miles from Charleston. In case you don't know what that means, it majorly sucks. And I don't wanna be here John doesn't want a beer. We're out of food. There's no place to buy beer anywhere. It's horrible. This is the worst day possible of this trip so far. This is what the whole state looks like here. We got lakes, woods. So 
this is Charleston, West Virginia here. We got this pretty pleasant river scene going on. There's some kind of music fest going on here. You know, you got your typical brick, interesting architecture. What kind of biker rally going on here? So you've got this capital here and probably, honestly, it's the only cool thing in the entire city that we've seen so far. Nice gold dome up there at the top. I mean, we've been in Charleston. We got here earlier today, finally hitchhiking, which was just crazy. Uh, there's not much exciting going on here. I'm kind of hoping we're going to be gone soon from here because, I mean, there's a couple old buildings over here, which is pretty decent. You got pleasure boating going on. A couple guys partying out here that looks kind of fun you got mansions here on the other side but for the most part there's not a lot of wealth in this place and that's the University of Charleston but I just have to say I mean you got some nice architecture you got decent nature some cool buildings but I mean if you want something exciting going on it's just not happening you got Stonewall Jackson here standing in repose 100 however many years after he died 1863 let's see here Got some sympathizers here these are nice all right so what's going on here we know the trains come through here the hop spot is a ways back there there's a small yard it's about three miles that way we're gonna be there later tonight <laughs> out here last night only uh, intermodal trains have been just going straight through that we've seen there's been nothing stopping the train that stops here only runs three times a week so what we're hoping right now that engine there and that string of cars just got pulled up we're hoping that the train that does stop here is gonna be here sometime and pick those up it's like four miles from town it's a long distance to go do anything although the beer there's like there's a grocery store with beer and a Burger King fairly nearby and I'm considering making a run right now which means the possibility of the train showing up and me missing it is there what, what are you saying if the train comes we got cell phones uh, help hobos with cell phones we got technology we can get get you back here in time the train's gonna do work no big deal get some nice cold beer so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna make a run for it really interesting seeing what the deals are in different towns. I mean, same as the other gas station, Labatt Blue Tall Can for $1.19. Beer is hard to find anywhere in Canada. And here, I mean, you buy three of them, that's a six pack worth of beer for under four bucks. It's crazy. It's about the only activity going on here, just switching these cars and tinkers back. The situation is not looking good right now. Uh, I'm not sure what to do. There's not really any way to leave this town in a train. So, and we're really sick of hitchhiking. So I don't know what's gonna happen. John's fixing to get an Amtrak here. All right, what's going on? We've got the train that looks like this is the westbound. Right here into like switch cars and stuff those road power units right down there, those big engines we have to get out of here this train is only three times a week it's Friday afternoon right now so obviously there's not gonna be another chance till at least Monday I was just walking up on this overpass to kind of get a look at the train but there's definitely a crew on there's two guys in there with neon shirts on. they're pulling a train guaranteed those aren't oh, yeah there's a it, the train goes all the way down to that next overpass just to Stay out of sight of the train, we're gonna cross under the tracks through this culvert. Special ops right here. We gotta walk down this road, we're probably gonna be seen. They're cutting something off, this is the train. Unless it isn't. He's cutting off, we're gonna go pick up another string of cars. Look at this, you can't walk through this with these packs, impossible. This is crazy. 
get out now, I mean, it, it could be 20 minutes until... Well, what I want to do is get some more beer, but standing around here is not going to accomplish that or get We've got no... I mean, this is a bad zone if a cop shows up. Let's get on? Yeah. Let's get on. Officially trespassing on railroad property. The cleanest stride I've ever been on. I don't know what this chute here does. Look at this thing. It's probably some kind of super toxic chemical or something it comes out of there. Waiting now if John should go get beer while we're on the train. It's it just seems to be sitting here. We're talking about it. It's one of those choices that I mean it's gonna make the train leave if he goes and gets beer. It's guaranteed. Right now the the train's not connected. The engines are still shuffling cars around in the yard. So I mean, it's it's doable. You think this is some glorious thing? It's not. It's just a lot of waiting. We're out of beer. We don't know where the beer store is. It's not worth the risk to run to get one. All right. It looks like we're finally out of Charleston. got going on here is a very substantial classification yard and just a, a pretty small quaint little town this is a little more common with CSX and out on the east where you've got a pretty huge yard that's fairly important but the town nearby is tiny I mean you can think of Selkirk and up in Albany I mean it's way out in the fields you got Hamlet North Carolina once again enormous yard tiny little town it can be kind of an issue because there's definitely no other way out of this town than on a train so you know if you get pulled off by the bull and you're frightened and you don't know what to do i don't know how to get out of here there's not an interstate there's nothing which actually i kind of like here over to here a couple other streets is basically the whole town i don't know what the cops are doing here but isn't that sweet Usually, I thought there was like a bank robbery going on because you got these squad cars here. It's just a, a little community race here in Russell, Kentucky. It's definitely clear from the amount of cops here that there's more than enough in case you get called in. in these small towns, it's pretty much a fact you're going to get on the shit list of the police. The instant they see you in dirty clothes with a pack. And a bunch of cops just saw me walk past. And I'm pretty relaxed about it, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm on the list now. They don't have my pack, and they can't really just stop me for doing nothing. That's why I'm kind of nonchalant, but I could tell. I'm on the list. Hopefully be out of this town today. And, uh, you know, get off that list and onto another one in some other small town. So probably the most scenic part of this area, there's Russell. There's the Ohio River, and over here you got Ironton, Ohio. Quick walk over here, and uh, interestingly enough, there's also a busy main line over here. This one is Norfolk Southern. So this is Ironton, and uh, <clears throat> pretty much nothing going on here. There's very few people under 50, and most of the shops and everything are already boarded up like a lot of towns in more rural Ohio. But the one positive main attraction I would say is that for rail fans, if you want to do a rail fan trip to this area, 
right on the other side of the river you got Russell with CSX and then coming through town here you got a pretty busy Norfolk Southern main line. <laughs> Could do maybe a three-day rail fan trip, get Fostoria the first day, then come down here. So in Charleston, it was Labatt Blue, which surprisingly, it's actually here in Ohio. But what I've seen in Ohio for the best deal, look at this. 24 ounce can, honey brown, 99 cents. Just another sign of how moronic things are getting today. The pedestrian part of the bridge has been closed over the river. For some reason it's, you know, people walking don't matter. It's assumed in this day and age that everybody's got a car. Pedestrians prohibited. Well, fuck you. Not sure who's gonna give me the citation on this bridge being that it's dividing two states. Look at this, they cut the stairs off. They got this fence for no apparent reason whatsoever. Not any sign of some kind of architectural issue. All right, so we've covered Russell, Kentucky, as well as Ironton, Pennsylvania. We found that they're both quaint little towns just across the Ohio from each other, mainly inhabited by septuagenarians. We've also found some good deals on beer in Ohio and uh, that, you know, things look pretty community oriented here in Russell. So now let's talk about the plan here. What's going on next? Well, first, First plan is to enjoy this cold beer on this 95 degree day here in June in northern Kentucky. Uh, it's hot, got to maintain hydration, and the first thing is just going to be to chill and relax at this nice little park. Right here, look at this, I mean this is nice. So as far as the trains go from here, I haven't actually decided if I'm going to go east or west. So. I'm going to post at some point over in the yard where the stack train stops. I saw one last night. It only stopped for about five minutes. And it appears there's only about one per day here. So if that doesn't work, I'm looking at getting a train west to Cincinnati or Columbus. Well, the lightning bugs are out here on the Ohio. And uh, me and John are discussing. He's got to go. He's got stuff he's got to do. I got stuff I gotta do, and uh, we may split up this evening. So I'm looking at, again, I mean, I may go east, I may go west, it depends on the train, being a reasonable train. John's going west towards Chicago, and uh, that's the way it's gonna be. It's been a good run here. We it's a reasonable town, $1.19 ice house. As negative as things could seem with my clothes that basically smell like an open grave. You got all these nice glow bugs out here, just seeming cheerful. Right here on the Ohio. It's the darkest hours of the night. Russell, Kentucky.